I went to North Korea the first time in uh, 2005, I think it was January of 2000. It was just after Libya had made uh, reached an agreement with the United States, uh, and I'd been to Libya with Congressman Lantos, the congressman that I worked for, uh, was chairman or became chairman of the uh, Foreign Affairs Committee in the House. Uh, Basically, Lantos tried to get the message across to the North Koreans when he was there yeah. that Libya had made a good decision, yeah. that Libya had given up its nuclear weapons, those nuclear weapons had been removed from yeah. the country, the, the yeah. equipment and so forth, and that Libya was moving in a positive direction, better relations with the United States, yeah. economic progress was improving and so forth. Yeah. Uh, I returned to North Korea five, six years later, uh, when the United States was considering the possibility of providing humanitarian aid, mm -hmm. I had a conversation with uh, uh, Kim Gae Kwan, Kwan. Yes. who was the Vice Foreign Minister mm -hmm. at the time, the man who has dealt with the United States uh, for the last 20 years in terms of the senior negotiator for the mm -hmm. North Koreans. And uh, I told him that I had come with Congressman Lantos. He said, oh yes, I, I remember you being there. Mm -hmm. uh, and he said, immediately, Congressman Lantos came to convince us to follow the Libyan model. Mm -hmm. Look what's happened to Libya. We will never follow the <laughs> Libyan model. Yeah. And I think that uh, sort of this idea that you give North Korea an ultimatum, if you want to improve relations, you know, we'll come haul away, take away your nuclear equipment. I don't think that's going to work.